Welcome back here. So an El Paso school district says it has dramatically cut the number of students who are chronically absent from class. KFOX 14 News at 5's Harrison Parker live for us at El Paso School District headquarters right now. He spoke with educators to find out how these absences could not just affect students and schools, but also taxpayers. Harrison? The El Paso School District shared with us how many of their students are are missing classes more than 10% of the school year. Now, we originally requested that information because Texas gives money to local schools based on attendance per day. Now, people missing classes has skyrocketed since COVID, leaving massive holes in school budgets. Now, here's one leading educator about why this chronic absences are so bad for school districts. Um, that's less money that comes into the district. That's less money that is made available to buy resources and equipment and things for, um, you know, for teachers to use in their classroom. That's Norma De La Rosa, president of the El Paso Teachers Association, speaking to me about students consistently missing school. Figures from EPISD show that roughly 10,000 students miss school more than 10% of the school year. This is down from a high of roughly 18,000 in 2022, but still harms students in schools citywide. Ross Moore of the El Paso Federation of Teachers is concerned this could have serious consequences for district independence. That means their test scores are going down, which TEA will look at with a very predatory attitude towards EPISD and go, oh, can't fix our attendance problem. Scores are down. We need to put in a board of managers like we did in Houston. I spoke with one EPISD parent who is not happy with how the school handled absences. Uh, you got to call the attendance office, which is fine, but yeah. they never answer. They, the websites through EPISD, the absent reporting uh, site does not work. One recent grad of EPISD told me the district wasn't helpful with absences. There wasn't any resources available to me, like there wasn't any advice given to me. I would have liked advice because I feel like if I was given that advice, I would actually want to come to school more often. An EPISD spokesperson told me they've added a series of new initiatives to help families get their students back in class. In recent months is uh, we have these what, what, what are called family resource centers. They're only at four campuses right now, but they're essentially like they're kind of like a community closet and food pantry all rolled into one. Well, Albert went on to tell me they've actually since fixed the parent portal online that allows them to report uh, a student uh, absence request form. Uh, at the same time, EPSD acknowledged to me that they still have a ways to go in getting kids back into class. Those union leaders I spoke with also emphasized parent responsibility for getting their children back in the classroom. Reporting from the EPSD headquarters downtown, Harrison Parker, KFOX 14 News at 5.